Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is in reference to a spiritual bath, a basal spiritual bath that I had mentioned on a previous video and I have been receiving a lot of comments and questions. How did I get that green, green color from the herb? Um, first of all, it must be fresh basil. This bath is used to remove negative energy from the home and from the self and it's also beneficial in attracting the blessings of the spirits, attracting enlightened spirits. And the ingredients that you will need for this bath are fresh basil, which I will show you later on, fresh basil, holy water, Florida water, and cascadilla. Those are the only ingredients that you will need. And this bath, you can do it for yourself and also make it as a floor wash. So it's very simple. So I'm going to leave you with a video on hands-on how to prepare your own spiritual bath of basil. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so here we go. Since everybody has been asking me how I get that um, dark color from the basil, I'm going to do it step by step so you guys can see how I make this cleansing bath. Basil is very good to remove negative energy. No dark entity will stay where basil lives okay so the first thing that you are going to do is make sure i was showing you the basil right now make sure that here's a basil that you wash the basil okay wash the basil with cold water and after you wash it just put the leaves in there Okay. Fresh basil. Okay, so for those that do not know, this is basil. Okay, and you take the leaves out. Make sure, like I said, that you get fresh basil. You cannot make this, you cannot prepare this bath with um, dried basil. Sorry, but you cannot replace it. I'm just going to prepare not to I'm not doing too much because I'm pre just preparing this for for the house I'm going to do a sprinkle okay I just want to show you how to do it how I get that dark color okay if I do need more leaves then I'll just put it in there and you add Florida water okay Throw the water in there, a good amount, and holy water. This holy water, I pick it up at the Gruta, the Bronx, the St. Mary's um, Church. That's where I go and pick my holy water. There's a big rock there, and water comes out where they have the virgin, and that's where I it up there so a lot of you been asking me how do you make it how do you get it doesn't really matter it doesn't really have to be that dark just as long as you get the essence of the basil so it doesn't really matter as long as you get the essence and you got some of the essence in there you can use it see Darker. The alcohol in the Florida water helps the essence to come out. I don't know if you can really see how it's already turning a darker color. Or like this. See? I'm putting the essence out of there. Then you could use this water. Either to mop your house after you strain it, or you bathe with it. But this is very good to get rid of negative energy, okay? And it also dispels negative entities. Dep depends, all depends what you have on you. But um, basil is very powerful. Basil is used in blessings, house blessings, house cleansing. But it has, um, how do I say, it works both ways because it can be used 
to get rid of negative energy and it can be used in money baths to bring the luck because it clears the way so good things to come it can be used with um with bitter herbs also okay so let me show you now see keep doing it that way you see how nice and green it gets now i will add the cascarilla also a lot of people been asking me what is cascarilla this is cascarilla eggshell powder it comes in this little cup like this okay and you buy it at the botanica don't go try making your own taking eggshell and try to make your own um cascarilla because there's prayers that go with it there's certain rituals so don't try it you know and then you go like this it's where my nail if I'm doing a bath for myself, I would do take a an entire cascarilla and just smash it in there. But since now I'm just doing a sprinkle for the house, that's the amount I use. And then I continue. This not only dispels negative energy, but it also attracts enlightened beings it attracts the good spirits towards you and to your home so this you can either take it as a as a spiritual bath and pour it from your shoulders down not put in your tub and get in your tub no i feel when you put it over your shoulders it cleans you more because all negativity goes down the drain I say you can take it from your shoulders down after you strain it or you can use it to sprinkle. I, I will strain it and sprinkle it throughout the house because I just finished doing um, an initiation. So I'm just going to bless the house with this because this will also bless the house. Like I said, I like to do it. When my spirits inspire me, I like to do it. Let me show you the results. A house sprinkle you don't you do not need a lot all you need is this amount this is good enough for what I'm going to do and if you're going to do a spiritual bath then you do per se like half a gallon or gallon depending on your height so don't, just don't take this small amount and take a bath with this because it's not going to do nothing okay I hope you guys learned um, how to prepare the basil spiritual peace bath hey guys so i hope you have enjoyed this video on how to prepare your basil spiritual bath if you have give me a thumbs up share my video and subscribe to my channel god bless you and love and light